Thank you for tuning in to this week's edition of The Butcher and the Chef. Today is a really special show. We're going to venture into Kings here in Hillsdale, New Jersey, where Cafe Anello gets all of its seafood from. We get to meet the powers to be, the passion they have behind all of their seafood purchasing, and what a great corporation we've got ourselves hooked up with. Kings here in Hillsdale. So let's venture inside and meet Jerry, the general manager. Jerry, how are you today? Good, man. Good to see you, John. How Good are you to see today? you as well. I'm interested to know what do we have in the seafood department John, today? John, you got to come back today. We got some beautiful red snapper, some great swordfish. Come on back. Let's see Alex and Chris. Let's see. Hey, John. This is what I was talking about. Take a look at this red snapper. Take a look at that sword. Take a look at that groper. What do you think? I, what I think is what I think weekly. I don't think you can find fresher or better, Jerry. You know that already. I appreciate that. Let me bring Alex and Chris out here, and you could give them your order. Thanks, Jerry. You got it. So while Jerry runs the day today of King Supermarket here in Hillsdale, let's venture to the back and meet Chris Tolan, the gentleman who's responsible for the freshness and stocking this seafood department here at King's, where I personally buy everything for Cafe Anella. Let's venture back and meet him. So Chris, yep. soft shell crabs, seasonal item. Very seasonal. I mean, I noticed that any time I ever come in, you could go to other seafood markets, you're not going to find it. Like, it's, it runs kind of sparingly in a lot of other places. Yeah. You guys seem to have them all the time. What do you look for for, like, a great soft-shell crab shipment? What is it that you take a look at and pay a lot of attention to before you bring it in? Science is very important. You know, sometimes the market's soft and they're hard to get. But I have a good supplier. We pride ourselves on Madison. And they take care of us and they give us the best quality stuff. Yeah, and I notice all the time when I get them from you, I'm never missing claws. I'm never missing, like, it's always the complete soft shell crab. A very hard thing to find exactly. also. That's got to be a large part of what you're looking for as oh, well, absolutely. too. Fantastic. They're always beautiful and they're always a decent size, too, I got to tell you. So, Icelandic cod. I have heard time and time again, I know some restaurants try to fake it as a halibut. It's that type of fish that has that white texture, it's delicious, it absorbs every ingredient you put into it. Your price, your freshness, talk to me about the cod. What is it that you take a lot of pride behind? Yeah, the Icelandic cod is totally boneless, it's got J cut. And you know what, a cod is mild, flaky, you know, it cooks nice. No, we love it, we use a lot of it as you know. It's a fantastic fish, bottom fish, correct? Yep. Beautiful. The swordfish fly. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're constantly buying them from you guys as well. Color, cut, talk to me. Well, I mean, what is important about this when it's brought in? With the swordfish, you look for a good, you really look for a good bloodline. You know what I mean? So you have a darker bloodline. You don't want like a gray bloodline. Right. It's not as fresh. Gotcha. And I noticed that you always see that. Yeah. And every time that when I go to buy, you're always pointing that out to me. Yeah. And I'm always thankful for it because even the customer knows mm -hmm. it. They can tell when something's fresh and when it's not, especially when it comes to a swordfish, sure. because of that in particular. And lastly here, let's talk about the bronzine. I mean, uh, I can't even keep it on my menu. It's a signature item. <laughs> what is it? I mean, talk to me about the technique, the filleting, how you prepare it. Well, what's, what's the key here? We have the whole fish right there. We fillet, we fillet it up, and it's mild, you know what I mean? It's, you know, it's a great little cooking wine. It's just a great fish, you know? It's simple. Yeah, it's very simple. I mean, simplicity is the beauty of Italian yeah. cooking, is it not? Yeah. It's fantastic. Chris, everything is out of control fresh here, and we thank you every week for everything that you do here. And talk to me a little bit, background-wise, Chris. I mean, you know, here in particular at King's, what is it that you would say separates this company from anywhere else when it comes to the attention to the seafood department? I've been, I've been with King's for 20 years. 20 years and, and you know what we pride ourselves on quality and you know what I learned from day one your first loss is your best loss you know what I mean it's not it's not the bar you know what I mean and I noticed that too and Chris there's no turnover here at all I mean it's always fresh or you get rid of it and that's a philosophy I think that every seafood department in any supermarket any grocery store anywhere could learn from the way that you do it and let me tell you, you do a great job, and I appreciate it week to week. Thanks, buddy. Yep. So, John, I got a question for you this week. What are we going to put on the menu this week? 
Ah, I see how this goes. I'm asking you all the questions. Now you're going to hit me with the hard one now. What am I ordering this week? Get Alex. Let's do this. <laughs> So, John, what's on the menu this week? All right, we're going to do some of these uh, beautiful local Long Island little neck clams. I do a couple dozen, Alex. A couple dozen? Larger the better? Larger the better for roasting. Beautiful, beautiful. Absolutely. You know, i got to tell you, the one thing I do really like about it every time I order these clams, these oysters, any type of shellfish from you there, I mean, you're always punching the holes in the bag, keeping it fresh. Oh, yeah. I tell you, it's amazing how many places don't know to do that. Yeah, it's amazing how many places actually give you dead clams in the bag. It's true. Well, the important thing about opening, about poking holes in the bags, is that you're buying the clams live. You want them that way when you get home. You see that? Don't want to give you that. One. No cracks, no broken ones. Only the freshest for you, John. Appreciate it, Alex. Your attention to detail is absolutely impeccable. There you go, John. Alex, you're the man. Thank you so much, bud. No problem. So, Jerry, I'm interested to know. You've been in this business for quite some time. What is the key to putting out such phenomenal seafood in this place? John, Kings and myself are passionate about food. We love foodies. The biggest thing, the difference with us is we have something on top of the catch. When boats go out for two weeks, we pay a little more, but we get the last two days catch, which means it's the freshest. It comes off the boat and it's delivered here, and the result is what we see over here. The freshest seafood you can get anywhere. Absolutely. And you know, Jerry, that's the whole thing. I knew coming into this business relationship with you guys that freshness is such a key. If you want to pay a little bit more but get that much better quality, you have to be willing to spend it. And that's something that King's does, not just here in Hillsdale, but corporate in New York, Connecticut, and New Jersey. Top catch, top seafood, top of the line. And that's the only thing we offer in our place. And I thank you for it, Jerry. My pleasure, John. Good seeing you. You too. So we're going to take a trip around King's right now and grab the things that I love to use in the restaurant. We're going to start first with our vine tomatoes. Now when I grab these, I smell right at the vine, at the stem. They're so fresh. When you get a good tomato, you can smell it right away. Grab a couple of these puppies for our fresh mozzarella and tomato at the restaurant. Working our way back around now, and we are going to grab our fresh arugula which goes on top of our Vio Milanese over at Cafe Anello. And we're working our way around right here, and we're going to grab ourselves nice yellow onions. I go for the larger ones, because these are the ones that we will dice and put into the carbonara and the amatriciana. In the cart we go. Walking our way around down the important aisle for our vongole. Our vongole consists of three of our clam juices. I happen to use Sento. One minced clam by Sento also. Vile part of the operation. And let's grab our organic Modena glaze. Very important too. That's what we use also on top of the veal milanese and some of the salads as well. I gotta tell you, I love this place. So clean. Customer service is outrageous, and we will be checking out right now. So, a very, very special thank you to King Supermarkets. Jerry, thank you so much. John, our pleasure. We'll see you tomorrow, buddy. I appreciate it a million. Chris. Thanks, buddy. Alex. No problem. Tune in next week for the next episode of The Butcher and the Chef.